I think one of the most important things a person can know is that they're made in God's image and God loves them personally, uniquely, individually. He knows and loves you and this is the most important thing. And second, that love that God has for each person as his child is so strong, so all-consuming. I think of passages like Romans chapter 5 where Paul says, think about this, while you were still ungodly, Jesus died for you. While you were his enemy, Jesus died for you. While you were not an ally of God, Jesus died for you. Now, if God loved you so much that he would let his son die for you when you were not even interested in him and when you were actively opposed to him, think how much more he has invested in you and he is going to hold on to you with all of his might, see you through the difficult times. He wants to do something wonderful in your life and he wants to be real and present because he gave up his son for you specifically, you Nizar, me Claire. And that relationship is not easily shaken. So if we could rest in that relationship, if we can accept how profoundly and how securely God envelops us as his child, we could be set free to love him and to love others and serve them, not out of fear, and not like a slave, but because we've been set free inside. We are his children, not his slaves. And love, his love, is so strong that it should set us free to love one another, even when it's scary, even when it's hard, even when we die to ourselves. But his love is so strong, it is not easily shaken. So it should empower us for good.